that's the that's the one thing that you always ask for is effort. I mean, if you if you can never be too disappointed if you've tried your best and not won. Uh, our guys definitely tried the best, and take from the game that we we've got a lot of things we need to work on. Like probably we need to improve uh, our productivity in the final third. Try and try and create more goal scoring opportunities when we have that much possession. Um, and, and that's probably what we'll, we'll take from this game, that we know how to possess the ball, but we need to turn possession into possession with a purpose and, and actually turn our possession of the ball into goal scoring opportunities. We could tell right from the start that it was going to be a tough battle. It was a, they put the pressure on right from the start and uh, we weathered it pretty well right, right off the get-go um, for a ways into the game. And then, then we had the incident with the, with the double red cards and. Uh, and then it kind of made the game a little more interesting, and um, it seemed like from then on they they had a lot of possession of the ball, and we were we were um, forced to defend, especially for the second half of the game. I mean, I thought Tampa Bay really stepped it up. Um, I thought before the same man they were lumping balls and trying to win second balls and stuff like that, and they tried to play a little more possession after that. Um, we got our goal, we went up one nil, and uh, focused a little bit more on defending, keeping that shut up. And uh, I mean, the game opened up a little bit, but uh, our big concern was making sure that it stayed at Tampa Bay zero. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle slid right in that position. Just, just he did just a great job back there. Um, seemed right at home, so that was it was good to have him, his versatility to stop and to step back there and um, do the job. And um, I felt like Andreas just played amazing. He was, you know, made some blocked a couple of key shots of theirs towards towards down the stretch and. Um, it was uh, yeah, just solid play overall defensively. It wasn't nice, but uh, we got the result. Not every game is going to be pretty, but what counts is getting those three points, and that's what's going to get you to the playoffs and the championship. Uh, I feel that the, the, the guys worked hard defensively. Uh, we should be able to create a little bit more uh, opportunities and keep the ball a bit more at home, but uh, that will come with time. And uh, definitely uh, we got to work work. Work on that, and hopefully, next couple of games it will show and give the uh, the crowd a better performance, soccer-wise, and uh, and get those results again. And uh, the, did the weather affect you at all? Uh, no, the pit, you know the, the field is amazing. Uh, kudos to the turf crew out there. I mean, it's a it's a very well constructed field, and uh, it's um, it handles the rain great. So you can even tell that it's been raining for the past day. So. Uh, finally, talk about the crowd there. Shane, your name quite big. Yeah, it's good. It's good. To, good to be back. Good to be back playing in front of those guys. It's you know I've got a lot of history with them, and it's um, it's felt felt right at home. Which is, it's, it's a great feeling to have. It was fun. Like the road trip was hard. Uh, my flight got delayed from Puerto Rico. Just got in yesterday. So coming into this, the facility, the stadium, the the staff here have just done a great job to uh, get this ready for us. And seeing these people come out, the crowd come out, especially with the weather being like this, it was. Great motivation. I just did not want to lose the game for that reason. I think uh, I'm really happy for the guys. Uh, you know, one of the things I wanted tonight to be uh, was a special night for the guys. You know, it's opening night, and I really wanted them to to get the feeling of having a win. Um, and to do that was great. Obviously, I didn't think it was the best soccer, but considering our circumstances, having played on Wednesday and, and really long travel, and actually played really well on Wednesday against Puerto Rico to come back and and give the effort we gave tonight. I was really proud of them. And, and again, I, one of the things that uh, I really wanted was for them to make this opening night a special night, and, and they really did that. Oh, it, you know, obviously uh, it was kind of a, it, a crazy swing there because we went from a PK and being up a man to a, at least a PK, but then even numbers again. So uh, we went to a 4 4 1, you know, and uh, we just felt like putting the one guy up top, partly because we were tired from Puerto Rico and we wanted to try to manage our shape defensively. Uh, we stayed with that lineup, um, and again, it just changed how we had to sub the rest of the game as well. And uh, it, it took us a little time, while in the second half to adjust uh, to uh, to Tampa Bay coming at us. We were having trouble with keeping the ball, but the one nice thing about it was that the guys kept their shape the whole time and stayed organized. Okay. And uh, kind of looking ahead to Wednesday against Rochester, just thoughts on that game. Is it you know, not a lot. I think at the end of the day, uh, we know Rochester's a pretty new team. You know, they got a lot of uh, new players in, in some ways a little bit like us. So, uh, you know, we have to understand that this league is very high level and uh, you, you can't be complacent. And we're, we're going to have to manage uh, getting rest again. You know, this is, so this is a really challenging period of our schedule. So uh, we need the guys to get some good rest and uh, be prepared for a very good Rochester team on Wednesday.